Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Ladies and gentlemen, our new Miss GSS Queen for 2023 is none other than contestant number four, Miss Nicosia Kelly. Kelly amassed a total of 631 points. She captured the shared title of Best Dress with a total of 162 points, Best Speech with 279 points, and Best Interview with a total of 89 points. If you were the principal of the Gingerland Secondary School, what improvements would you make in order to improve the mental well-being of students? Thank you for that question. Mental illness is real, and as young adults, we fight many silent battles, from anxiety to depression to behavioral problem, whether it is at home or at school. We are not just acting out. There are underlying issues that need to be addressed. But we live in a society where discussions on mental health are scarce and the topic is taboo. If I was the principal of the Gingerland Secondary School, I will launch the I Care campaign. This campaign will create an avenue where students can openly share their feelings without judgment and would include therapy session by trained professionals. The ultimate goal is to ensure that no student feel odd, unworthy, nor alone. Mr. David, as our present principal, I admonish you to continue taking our mental well-being seriously. Showing that you care makes a huge difference. Thank you. The first runner-up spot was secured by Mariah Daniel, who amassed a total of 609 points. She also captured the shared title of Best Dress with 162 points and Miss Photogenic. Jenanique Griffin secured the second runner-up spot with 564 points. She captured the title for Best Performing Talent with 210 points. Lakeisha Clark won the Miss Pop popularity title and Brianna Stewart received the Miss Amity and the Chairpersons Award. Nakita Thibu received the Chairpersons Award for Best Chaperone. The Miss GSS pageant took place on Saturday, April 29, 2023 at the David Freeman Center of Excellence in Gingerland as part of the school's 50th anniversary activities. The Gingerland Secondary School's 50th anniversary is being celebrated with the theme Creativity, Diversity, Inclusivity, GSS at 50. The Ministry of Tourism is hosting its Tourism Awareness Month in May and this year it is being celebrated under the theme Tourism and Green Investments. On Sunday, April 30th, 2023, a church service was held to commemorate the start of Tourism Awareness Month at the Combermere Methodist Church. Deputy Premier the Honorable Eric Evelyn spoke of the importance of Tourism Awareness Month and its theme. The month-long celebration is geared towards increasing awareness among residents and visitors alike of the importance of the tourism industry to the island of Nevis. It is dubbed Exposition Nevis, as the celebration provides an opportunity to showcase the rich diversity and exciting uniqueness of our Nevision tourism product. This year's chosen theme is Tourism and Green Investments. The theme focuses on the importance of sustainable, or that should be sustainability, in the tourism development approach. Greening or sustainability speaks to three aspects. Firstly, care of the environment. Secondly, ensuring that local people are able to make a viable livelihood from tourism and thirdly to ensure that the local heritage is 
preserved and promoted. Some of the activities for the month include a church service, Jessup's Seafood Fiesta, Hospitality Immersions, Heritage Village Life, Wellness Rainforest Hike, Bank of Nevis Tourism Youth Congress, Exposition Nevis Funday, and Nevis Tourism Investment Forum. On Thursday, April 27th, the Department of Community Development hosted a retirement social for a long-serving member of staff, Lydia Claxton. The event saw Claxton's relatives, friends, and colleagues gather at the Banscott Community Center, where they engaged in musical renditions, presented gifts, and made congratulatory remarks. Claxton, who spent 33 and a half years in the civil service, says she found pleasure in being able to serve the people of Nevis for such a long time and expressed gratitude to God for his continued blessings during that period. Well, I started in the civil service in 1989 at CSS as a substitute teacher. And um, as Ms. Maloney said, I taught her. I also taught Shelley here. Yes, <laughs> Irving, yes. <laughs> And um, I've met so many of my students over the years, and this afternoon I just want to give God thanks for the opportunity that he gave me to, to serve for those 33 and a half years, because many would have started out and would not be here, but God has blessed me, and so I, I just want to give thanks this afternoon that I was able to serve my country in and serve my people in all the different um, capacities. My passion has always been to, to serve people, you know, to see the development of others in whatever way that I, I can, wherever I can make my contribution. And so um, I think I would have done that. Director of Community Development Janet Nisbet Maloney applauded Claxton for her various contributions to the Department of Community Development and wished her the best going forward. As you go, I ask that God bless you, be upon you and your family, and whatever you will do in the future, that His hands will be there to guide you. On behalf of the department, the staff of the Department of Community Development, I say a heartfelt thank you for all the work that you would have done in the community and by extension the department. I know you would have tried to help others and understand when I did not. You had the eyes that I did not have at times and um, you would have trained, you would have always look out for them and so you will, know they will miss you and, um, and you will miss them too. Also attending the event were the Honorable Janelle Nisbet, Minister of Community Development, and Shalisa Martin Clark, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Gender Affairs and Social Empowerment, and former Premier of Nevis, Joseph Parry. The Government of St. Kitts and Nevis, through the Ministry of Ecclesiastical and Faith-Based Affairs, is partnering with Evangelism and Counter Ministries and RCP Media to host their Interdenominational Day of Prayer in Nevis on Thursday, May 4, 2023. Activities will be held throughout the day. Select services, which will be held at the New Testament Church of God at Bath Road, will air live on local radio and be streamed on social media. Events will climax at a power praise and prayer rally which will commence on Old Hospital Road at 6 p.m. Persons are encouraged to reverence the day in continual prayer and participate where possible. On Wednesday, April 26th, the Department of Youth, in collaboration with the Nevis Public Library Service, hosted the prize-given ceremony for its 2023 World Poetry Day competition. The competition, which was split into two categories, challenged primary and secondary school students on the island to put together a creative piece on the theme, Self-Love, Embracing My Identity. Emerging as winners from the primary school category were 
Shajne Keynes of the Charleston Primary School in first place, Ajani Sadler of the Elizabeth Pemberton Primary School in second place, and Jada Gilfillan of the Elizabeth Pemberton Primary School in third place. In the world of hatred and negativity, we must teach children to embrace their identity and to love themselves for who they are with personalities that shine brighter than any star. Speaking of star, that's actually my name. I love it because it reminds me of where I should aim. It also means that I should, that I should shine for the world to see. But when I feel pressured, I remember that my only competition is me. Who am I, you wonder? A brave black girl with a lot to offer. I am strong, honest, and respectful. I am also kind, patient, and very helpful. Although humble, I am self-confident. My mom says it's a good trait to have if I want to be independent. Because their, because their opinions aren't facts. They don't define me. I love learning about my family and rich history. When it comes to promoting culture, that's where you find me. When putting together, you get a shining star who has embraced her identity. In the secondary school category, Rusha Sharma of the Charleston Secondary School emerged the winner. Kalia Huggins Simmons of the Charleston Secondary School placed second, and Abinik Chapman of the Gingerland Secondary School placed third. Who is that in the mirror? Who did I see when I looked in the mirror? I saw a girl with only one goal to be the perfect girl. The girl with the perfect grades, perfect face perfect body, and loads of talent. But why, despite my hard work and many tries, was I not the girl I longed to be? All my efforts seemed to be in vain, and all I got in return was this unbearable pain. After the long journey of trying and trying and not becoming the perfect girl, I looked once again in the mirror. But who did I see this time? Not the wannabe star girl, but a girl who had given it her all and proven herself as resilient and strong. The ceremony was chaired by Leandre Dyer of the Department of Youth. Also present were Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Kevin Barrett, who assisted in the distribution of prizes, and Chief Librarian at the Nevis Public Library, Anastasia Paris Morton, and Librarian Glenda Claxton, who said they were happy to partner with the Department of Youth to host the poetry competition. And that's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.